Well, I did not do particularly well in school. Uh, in fact, uh, I failed an exam one year and had to repeat it. My, <coughs> my mother was very unforgiving, so he gave, she gave me a very hard time punishing me. <laughs> and uh, I had to repeat that year. But that was really a turning point where my childhood lesson is not to fail in things that I'm doing. So I developed what we call uh, fear of failure. I became paranoid about failure. About 20 years ago, I uh, was visiting Hanoi and I found a very interesting uh, Vietnamese lady selling her services to weigh people. She was weighing scale and she will weigh you for $500. And I didn't understand that, but apparently the Vietnamese like themselves to be weighed. So she sold these services and I thought they was very entrepreneurial. So I came back and I wrote an email on Sunday to my colleagues about this, this observation. So, and then every time I travel, I find that I have some story to tell. I therefore make, I then make it as, as, as a habit to write these Sunday emails. And it gone for 20 years. All my staff all over the world, uh, they will receive my Sunday email. And some of them will, uh, will reply to me. For example, I wrote an email on Call Your Mother. And one of my colleagues in Beijing, already uh, in, the, in the airport, he called his mother. And his mother said, you don't call me like this. Why do you call me? And he said, my president asked me to call you. And the mother said, that's a good company, stay on the job. So I have got a touching story like this. I always say that building an airport is uh, very, very different from other engineering. I mean, you can build roads and bridges and buildings and whatever. But we don't get to build airports often. I would say it's a very complex, the most complex public institution you can ever use because you handle passengers and luggage and shopping and all that. You can build a shopping mall, but airport is more than a shopping mall. Uh, you can build an MRT station, but airport is more than just air transport. So I would say that uh, it's, it's vastly different because of the spread of uh, functions to serve the public. The biggest turning point uh, in aviation in Singapore is that we were expanding Pali Bar Airport. I was an engineer there. Work was in progress until our former Prime Minister, Mr. Nguyen. And he says that we can build the airport offshore, which means that you don't have to be affected by the nearby population in terms of height restriction and quality. So he instructed that we consider shifting the whole airport's expansion to Changi. And he says, let's go and reclaim the land and uh, they built Changi within six years. When he said go to Changi, many of the ministry uh, are not very keen simply because he had to be doing a plan and there was doubt that whether public works department can do such a big project uh, on the beginning left. And today we have four terminal, we are going to build terminal five and we are going to have three runway almost very soon. So all these massive uh, changes will not have taken place if not for our former Prime Minister's wisdom and leadership to say, let's go to Chinese.